Nanjing Road, a little lady with her son on a shopping spree down at East Nanjing Road here. Oh, Nanjing, Nanjing East Station. Nanjing. She's selling girls. <laughs> there you are. She's selling girls. <laughs> she is selling girls. Be careful. Right. I'm on East Nanjing Road and uh, you got to watch when you come out of these train stations, folk, just make sure that <laughs> just, just make sure that you don't be screwed by, you don't be screwed by the usual folk here for massage and all that nonsense they talk about. And they have become really aggressive now. And this was never the case in the old times. How are you, sir? Yes. Nanjing Road has become a crazy place with several people trying to sell girls to you and for massage and all that nonsense. So do be careful, folk, if you're ever here on this Nanjing Road. It is one way to say that is a century old shopping street but it's also a shopping street for the crazy individuals if you want to enjoy that nonsense as well okay there you go Walt Disney and Mickey Mouse Teddy Star Show there we go There you go. Silly and ridiculous. Little trolley train down Nanjing Road. <laughs> this is becoming more and more a comic. I have been out and about with the nature and it's becoming a comic now. Centenary of this department store here in Nanjing East. Chinese department store, is that right? What's the name of this shop? Huh? Department store. SK2. SK2 department store. Here in Nanjing Road. Is Nanjing Roads. Fashionable department store. Escalators and a half moon fashion takes you up. Folk trying to sell you girls on the street. <laughs> you gotta be careful. I've been away for five days on the outback and I've just come back into the city. They know the tourists are nuts. They like a bit of massage here and there, so what they do is try to sell you all that crap. So, folk, just be very careful, very vigilant and understand your way about and try and be smarter than the people here because if you try to stick to the nonsense you will be screwed if you try to follow a bit of foot massage you end up losing your wallet if not your balls so watch your what did you hear that massage <laughs> so watch your back watch your balls you are, crazy. You are crazy did you hear that I'm in Shanghai with a lovely team here on the street and they're selling what do you call this one Pinta Huru Pinta Huru yes I had Pinta Huru in Ho Hot it was 3 yuan 
And this one is 12 yuan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> because I'm in Nanjing Road. Nanjing Road. Nanjing Road, I had to pay three, four times the price of the price that I paid in Inner Mongolia. And it's the same thing. Let me try and see. <laughs> Mm. Mm. The same thing, same thing. <laughs> Daimaru, how are you? Did you hear that? He's offering me massage. Are you the one who's offering me massage? Huh? Are you the one who's offering me the massage? Not for me today. I've got my foot massage by walking hundreds and hundreds of kilometers. In a Mongolia and so on and so forth. So yeah, it is uh, it is a bit of a struggle always on this stretch of the street that people are constantly bothering you with massage and all that nonsense, you know. And uh, don't be fooled, folk. Don't be fooled. As I explained several times over, that you might get really trapped with your two little ghoulies around your neck. <laughs> yeah, so just be careful where you end up with your massage. I have made these reports several times over. Every time I'm over here, I have made those. Watch the green, son. It's always the case that these guys try to sneak in and out all the time. I have found that the country is pretty interesting at the same time they like to sneak things all the time left right and center